well, not too long after I got my spot in the yard, the rain came. But there was still a few hours of daylight left, so I was determined to do a little bit of work today. So even with all the rain, it stays surprisingly dry under here until you get to the back. You can see it gets a bit wet back here. But I can still keep working on the front area, even with the rain. So up on the bow here, I'll just give you a little example of what I'm trying to fare out. Uh, hopefully you can see that with the camera. And uh, I just kind of rushed things a little bit near the end of my last time up on the hard. So there are a few spots that are just a little bit rough like this. And this is the stuff that I want to make sure I get sanded smooth and cleaned up. And over here I've been working on this side. So here's kind of what it looks like when it's done. Well, you can see where I've stopped by the sanding marks. So I'm just going to go down one side and down the other. No point going all over the place. And when I get to the keel, I'm going to be doing a lot of work on that. Just tearing out some little spots that need uh, cleaning up. I heard something bump against the stand in the middle of the night. Really windy, really rainy, but at least the poly is not off the boat. So I think I'll just start uh, after breakfast here and I should be dry under there still. Well I spent today sanding the rest of the bottom. I still have a bit more to do. It's been really gross and rainy and wet and we got water coming in in spots. I just can't keep everything out. But uh, what I did was I used that hand trowel and I sanded the entire bottom with that. And then I went over everything with this orbital sander. And uh, it definitely smoothed it out a little nicer. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing now. I am working on the keel with the Dremel tool and there's a whole bunch of spots on the keel. I guess it's fairing compound or something. It's come loose and it's not quite adhering the way it should. You can see some spots where uh, it has just come off. It's just like a white uh, material underneath the paint. So what I'm doing is, you can see here, this is where I've sort of taken it off with the trowel. But what I want to do is I want to clean up that edge because I want to get rid of any loose material that might be still attached to this. So I'm just going to go over with the Dremel tool and I've done a few spots already. And with the tool, uh, the Dremel, I'm just knocking back any uh, of the edges just to make sure all that loose stuff is off so when I do put the fairing compound on it will uh, not just break off later because there's loose material that was already underneath it. So I'll try and set the camera up and show you what I mean. It's really wet and dirty under here so I'll see what I can do.
Well, that's it for today. Just sanded all day and started paying a little closer attention to the keel. And you saw I was using the Dremel there. Tomorrow will just be more sanding and uh, more work on the keel. I think it probably looks like I'm working in a coal mine, I just realized. So the starboard side of the keel is done. It was all sanded and all the loose stuff was taken off with the Dremel yesterday. And now I'm on to the port side. So after a full day of applying the compound and sanding, you can still see uh, it's a bit wet, but I've just applied the last coat, I think. Just in a few little spots I needed to touch up. And it's looking pretty good, I think. I may have to sand this tomorrow. It's getting kind of late in the day. And then I can uh, apply the primer tomorrow, hopefully. Well, that's it for today. And I need to go get the kids. They're excited to come here for the weekend. I'm not sure if they're going to feel that way when they get here and realize life on the hard is not as nice as in the water. But I just put the last coat of uh, fairing compound on the keel. I think it's the last coat, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. And... It's late in the day, so I need to have a little time for it to dry anyways. So I'll do a little cleaning up inside and get the boat ready for the kids and get back at it tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow the weather is okay again and I'm able to start putting some uh, underwater primer on the keel. <laughs>